talking about productivity, I haven't been able to keep up with being as productive as I usually feel I am lately. We will talk about that soon. I mean, soon not in this video, but anytime soon. My name is Priscilla Elias and how are you doing guys? Hope you're woo, excited and full of gas. Gas for going, not the other gas. Because today I will tell you how to edit photos faster. That's right. I will give you some tips that will boost your productivity when editing your photos. Ready? Let's start this out. Before I get into Lightroom and I show you some tips to edit faster using Lightroom itself, the first step to edit photos faster and boost your productivity, in my opinion, is to get organized. Upload your files into an organized folder. And to me, in order for me to be able to keep all the photos I need handy, the best way I found to do this was to always save my photos to an external HD that will automatically save a copy of my files to the cloud. And then, instead of having the photos inside of my computer's HD, which would take a lot of space, I use Lightroom Collections to edit straight from my external HD. By keeping my computer's HD with the free memory, I will be able to be more productive as my machine will never get too slow, crash, or as I will never have to delete any photos. This used to drive me crazy back in the days because I'd end up deleting things I didn't actually want to delete and then later I'd get lost in my mess. So have your folders organized in an external HD with an extra copy to the cloud if possible and then use Lightroom Collections to edit your work. I won't teach you how to use Lightroom Collections in this video because I have an entire video dedicated to that topic for which I will leave a link up here and in the description in case you still do not use this amazing Lightroom feature. This is a very important tip for you to get faster when editing your work. The next tip I have for you if you want to boost your productivity when editing your photos is work with a fast external HD. As I said in earlier videos, for a long time I worked with a normal external HD, but if you can afford an external SSD connected to a USB-C, it will be a game changer. It will make your editing much faster and therefore you will definitely gain in terms of productivity when editing your files. My third tip is consider using some presets. And you can either create your own or buy a package of presets you like. Then, even if you have to make adjustments to the photos, which happens quite often, it will probably take you less time to edit them. And, by the way, in case you want to edit your photos starting with my presets, I will leave a link for my pack of Lightroom presets in the description. Don't like presets? Okay, I myself do not always use them. Depending on the type of photo, light and editing I have and want as a final result. So when that is the case, something I do very often is to edit the first photo from an event or a session from scratch and then use the same base for the rest of them. How? Copy and paste. As simple as that. I'll show you. I make sure to uncheck corrections I made that are very specific to that initial photo I edited when I copy the settings and then I just paste it to the next photo and adjust minor details such as light and color from there. Because of course, even if you shoot all photos on the same place, they might not have the exact same light, especially if you're not shooting in a studio environment where the light is usually very well controlled. So as simple as that, in develop mode, I will hit Ctrl C or Command C if you're using a MacBook. Then I select the photo I want to paste the adjustments to and Ctrl or Command V. Tip number five, use the auto sync function. I don't use this often, but it can also be a very effective way to edit as many images as you want as fast as possible. What happens here is you will select the photos that are alike in library modes, meaning that have similar light, preferably the same subject, 
photos that look a lot like each other from your folder or collection. To do this, you can click Shift, then you go to Develop Mode, and you will choose the photo you want to set as the reference. For example, this one. You will come here and click Auto Sync. And then, while I edit this photo, you will see that all of the other photos I selected are changing along with this one automatically. Pretty easy, pretty handy. And if you didn't know these tips yet, they will definitely make the whole difference in your productivity when editing your photos. If this video helped you, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, guys. This will help me a whole lot to keep creating more and more content for you. Also, please let me know if you can think of any other tricks in order to boost your own productivity when you edit your work. I constantly also learn stuff from you and I'm really thankful for that. Well, that's all for today. Have fun and a great one. I will see you in the next video. Ciao!